Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so I'm shooting this episode right after the episode I just shot of getting there and just, oh my god, this is taking so long. So I, I ended up doing the burn, I ended up aligning and everything else, and we got ourselves a fairly good approach here. Hopefully this you know we can get into orbit and everything with Val here this shouldn't be too hard although I don't remember if it's Val or what is this Tylo I can't remember which one it was the last time I came here that I couldn't land on because of the gravity was just insanely high compared to uh, I, I somebody told me once before that it's basically about the same as Kerbin which I didn't believe, but, you know, what have you, whatever. Uh, hopefully, uh, we're not getting in orbit around the wrong planet, or, well, I should say moon. But, yeah, you know, Jewel is just freaking amazing. I have the scanner running. You can see I did get some scans on Jewel, but, you know, uh, how are you going to get... Yeah, it just doesn't work. Yeah, I... I how are you going to get... Uh, Keythane from the surface of Jewel, that I do not understand. And this orbit isn't going to be the orbit that I want, but, oh, uh, whatever. We can at least land on, uh, Val here. That should be sufficient. So let's slow ourselves down and start burning retrograde. Who knows how long this is going to take. Something tells me that this is going to take a lot longer than what I initially expected. Which, um, yeah, that is going to take a very insanely long time. Hold on, let me, uh, just see this here. Yeah, that is going to take, uh, way, way longer than I really want to wait. So, um, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'll see you once we get into orbit. This probably wasn't the best idea. guys it looks like we're ready to start our first landing and uh, our first real decouple from this mega station or whatever you want to call it mega ship yeah that, that mega ship I I'm okay with this so we will control from here Oh god, and RCS is on, and work ourselves away from this ship. That way our frame rate isn't 5. That, that would be very nice. We'll activate our engine, and we're looking good on everything. I did use a little bit of RCS fuel, but eh, that's not that big of a deal. So let, let's get ourselves away, and uh, we'll do our first landing. I'll turn off the RCS. Oh god. Um, are we going to hit anything? I don't think so. So I just, I'm really just hoping to get away from this ship. That is what I really, really would like to do right now. Uh, this frame rate is driving me absolutely crazy. So it would be nice to actually have more than five frames a second. So let, let's go, let's go. Let's get away from this ship. Oh god. Uh, let's see where are we at in our orbit. Let's just continue our burn. We have cleared the ship. We will see you guys later. 
We have Dantop, Matlan, and Sidme. Yeah. We will see you guys later. Very much so. So we have our command module attached to the front. And I can't really see any. Did I put lights on here? Lights? Yeah, there's no lights. That's one of those things. I was just like, yeah, I don't need lights. So let's see. Alright, we are... God, that thing still looks massive. I'm just gonna speed this up. That way we can get away from this thing just even faster. See you later. It still looks massive on the horizon. That is just insane. Alright. It should be unloaded now. Oh my god. I actually have frame rate now. That That is magical so I'm really curious to test out all of this and just just to test out we have to activate our scanner here I forgot to do that let's see activate the detector and start picking up on and yeah disable the scan tone there we go looking good Man, it's been a long time since I've been out here. It's always fun every single time I show up, though. That's the one thing I do gotta say. Hopefully, we can if we can detect some stuff somewhere around here. If anything, if we if this planet actually has some kind of a spin on it or a rotation, we should be able to meet up somewhere over here, which there is detected heath in there, so. We're at least lucky enough to know that we can get in over there somewhere. So let's see. Alright, I'm not going to get any lower. See you guys later. Enjoy your long, long trip. So is this thing even on? Is it detecting? Oh, it's out of range. What is the range on this? I, I don't know. I think it's a uh, hundred or something like that. Oh, there we go. We're detecting now. So it doesn't seem like this thing has very much of a rotation on it. So I say we go in for a landing here. Right here. That, that is exactly where I want to go. So let's... I'm going to do a little bit of a, a burn. I think, if anything, I will do another orbit around and I'm just gonna kind of equalize out this orbit and that should kind of help out with things I know this isn't going to be a perfect orbit but I'm just looking to get it in the ballpark that that's all I'm really looking for 200,000 something like that I think I might go a little bit lower because we don't have a huge fuel storage on our landing stage so I'll maybe bring it down to a hundred hundred thousand yeah that that seems pretty good so let's see if we can just find there's a deep a key thing there and let's see what we can get over here and any other place maybe we'll get lucky and find something yeah I should do the scan while I'm going a little bit slower but whatever so anyways YouTube 60 frames a second tip cup from what I heard uh not really things I expected to uh, spawn on YouTube it's just not really something I really even kind of care about but I mean that's just me I, I don't know I, I just didn't really haven't really had any cares towards this old tip cup thing and uh, just about everything else is just not that big of a deal to me. I, I don't know why, but I have not really cared about having a tip cup feature on my channel. I probably will activate it because I'm pretty sure everyone else will if, uh, you know, the, the way I'm thinking is probably going to be the same thing for everyone. Everyone's probably going to have it, so no point in not at least activating it. Not that I'm begging for money or anything like that, but no point in, uh, I don't know, 
it seems like it's going to be a somewhat fair thing, but I, I really don't know. So we'll undock, and uh, we'll start our descent here shortly. And I, I don't know, we yeah, it's the 60 frames a second, too. I'm not, don't get me wrong, I'm not 100%, uh, I don't really care that much. I just just me I, I really don't care so much for 60 frames a second uh, that's just not really anything I, I've really ever cared about so I, I don't mean to say that in a bad way either but it's just one of those things that I, I guess I could say that just hasn't really I, every time I watch any TV shows that are at 60 frames a second I always kind of feel like there's something wrong with the, the channel, I, I don't know, there's some, there's this thing called the soap opera effect from what I was told, and basically I guess I'm a person who gets affected by that, so, that could be the possibility, but we need to start our burn here to get down to the surface, we will put our gear down, gear down, there we go, looking great. So, the one thing I'm hoping is that we do not run out of fuel, but we also can actually bring enough key, enough Keith Thane up to our um, command module, so to speak, and then we can actually refill that and actually have enough Keith Thane to leave the orbit of this uh, moon and go to another moon. But we'll see about that. I, I really don't know what we'll be able to get done but anyways guys <laughs> I will see you once we get closer to the surface this has been a lot going on and I am really just amazed that this is all working out so well surface amazing absolutely freaking awesome now it's time to test all the good stuff oh, okay nope that that's blocked that's not good um yeah we need to twist this around a little bit or something um let's see can we do that we don't want to take off 
Oh god. Um. Yeah, we need to go the other way. Wait, is that getting? Ex yeah, that's getting exposure. Good. So let's deploy the drill and deploy the ladder and deploy the dun top or den top. Den dun dun top. Yeah, you're doing an EVA, buddy. I know you probably don't want to, but you're gonna have to enjoy this because this is amazing. So, Space Bahar, oh my god, you are on the surface. What are we, where are we, Val? This is Val, right? Yeah, this is Val. Amazing. Um, that dust can't be good for your suit. Yeah, you might want to get away from that. So, I did notice that the landing here was fairly hard. I, the, I would compare this to being, like, on the moon, possibly. I don't know, the strength has to be almost twice what the moon was. I, I don't, you know, honestly, I always forget what it's like landing in some of these places. So what are we looking at, a keythane? Now can, is that using a substantial amount of power? That's the real question. No. Um, alright, and we have... Blocked by keythane high. I, I don't know what Keithane High is, but okay. Um, create some liquid fuel. Now, what are we getting for a percentage? I, I don't know. I, I thought you could actually see what the percentage was on here, but I, I really don't remember 100%. So, we're going to de deactivate this, actually, and we're just going to start filling up on Keithane. I think... We will deploy the other drill here, and you know what? Yeah, that that's looking awesome. So, come on, come on, get on top of the lander. Come on, oh god! Now this lander, I do have to say, was holy crap. This has to be probably one of my better landers that I've ever used. I do have to say though that um, I wish I could probably make it a little bit bigger if anything but this is a pretty big lander if not I, I just don't like the fuel storage on it but the main problem was is that I had to pack in a ton of stuff if you guys can see just everything on here I had to pack in just everything I could possibly think of in order to get this to work right so this is the best I could do and you know whatever so Anyways, guys, we are mining Val, and we have two ships in orbit, and yeah, we, we this is amazing. I this is absolutely freaking awesome. I hope we'll have enough fuel to take off and everything else, and also once we get into orbit, go to another moon. So yeah. Anyways, guys, if you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come. Tell your new people welcome, and uh, yeah, I will see you next time.